started the program five years ago, and it's just amazing of what we have done within those five years. Um, it was a big, big challenge for me when I first started the program, and I thought, I love challenges, I can do this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, this is my 32nd year of teaching, and I am a teacher, and I'm proud to say that I am not a chef, but um, I updated myself just like um, you would update on clothing and shoes and everything else. So um, they sent me to a culinary boot camp, and um, sometimes I even say they send me to boot camp, and people look at me like, you went to military boot camp? No, 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 not that. Um, it, went, um, it was culinary boot camp, and um, I'm grateful to Mrs. Avila, of course, uh, for everything that I've asked for when it comes down to um, courses or anything like that. Um, she has said yes, so um, I'm, uh, I used to be an outdated teacher, no longer. <laughs> but anyway, um, I hope you enjoy the program today. Um, I welcome every single one of you all, of course, um, and hopefully the, there will be the continual support from, from industry and, of course, from, from administration and, of course, my counselors. And uh, now I need to um, introduce um, our CTE director, Mrs. Sandra Avila. Good afternoon and welcome to each and every one of you. I'm very enthusiastic and appreciative for you joining us today, especially with the busy and hectic lives that you lead in your industry. Today you will learn more about our culinary arts program. We start off with our middle school students completing an interest and aptitude survey, which is, is, is designed to allow them to, um, for career exploration. The results are then used to identify a career cluster within a high school small learning community that serves to develop a program of study pertaining to their career choice. The program of study includes a coherent sequence of courses, 9 through 12, that prepare students with their knowledge and skills that include college credit, dual credit, uh, also advanced technical credit, which is credit and escrow at the college, leading to an associate's degree through TSTC. And we are currently working with STC as well. Um, in our um, culinary arts program, we offer work-based learning uh, the students uh, get specialized training with employers in the industry, and they also receive industry certifications such as surf safe managers and food handlers. Of course, none of this could be possible without the support of and leadership of our superintendent, Dr. Ruben Alejandro. If we can please give him a round of applause. And of course, our school board members who could not join us today because they had uh, other commitments. We are also proud of the fact that our instructor for this program, Melba Tejerina, who is an experienced educator with 32 years experience, Ms. Melba, <laughs> also having earned Region 1 Educator of the Year in 2007 and serves as SkillsUSA sponsor of our district, regional and state competitors and winners. We are proud of all the accomplishments that our culinary arts students have earned and the lasting impressions they have made and continue to make, not only in our district, but also in our community, hosting luncheons and banquets, serving local, state, and national dignitaries, demonstrating their knowledge, skills, and passion for culinary arts, which is truly an art. In addition, we hope to have you serve as industry admi advisory committee members for our high school to better assist us in continually improving our programs and most importantly, providing you with the educated workforce as employers of our students. So again, thank you and welcome. And at this time, I'd like to call Dr. Ruben Alejandro for, to say a few words, please. Thank you. Welcome today and uh, it's truly a great pleasure to, to be able to be uh, in these programs because it really shows the uh, kind of students that we have in our school district. I was just at a luncheon at uh, the Chamber of Commerce and there was a comment that was made at the end right before closing and, and they said, uh, you know, because I, I had an opportunity to, to talk and it, the same thing, here for a few words, you know, so, but anyway, so it was a few words. But anyway, at the end they said, well, just like Dr. Alejandro said earlier that, you know, we're here as a community, you know, to make West Laco, uh shine and to make sure that West Laco continues to grow and to thrive. And I was very tempted to stand up and say, well, you know what, I've got the future in our schools and I see them and I and every single day and, and I work with them because that is what we have you know these kids here is just one small example of the kind of kids that we have in our schools 
Uh, I do need to tell you one story, and I promise it's one story, okay? <laughs> uh, but um, yesterday I was at a, uh, at a, I'm sorry, this morning I was at a Superstars, and uh, you know, when I, when I talk to kids and I talk to parents, I always ask them, where are my lawyers, where are my doctors, and there's always hands going up of kids that are already, even at a very young age, you know, kinder, first and second, they already have an ambition to be going and pursuing this particular kind of career. And I go through a lot of the careers and there's always hands going up. When I started doing this about a year and a half ago, I would say, and where are my future presidents of the United States? And I would have five, seven percent of the hands go up. Well, lately, within the last three months, when I say that, I see 90 percent of the hands of these kids go up. Okay, so that tells us one thing. We are building a dream within them, okay? Now, not everybody can be the president, not everybody can be a doctor, not everybody wants to be a doctor or the president. But you know, different kids have different ambitions and, and want to pursue different careers. We want to give them those options. We want these kids to be ready that whatever it is that they want to be in life, they will be highly successful in that particular career. And the other thing that we want to make sure that we give them is that the opportunity to decide, if I, if I don't want to be here, I want to be, I can change careers and be able to transition seamlessly within months, okay? Not years. And we want to give them those opportunities so that they can continue to be whatever they want in life because we know for a fact that students in the future will change careers four to six times. That's how fast the valley is growing. In the next 10 years, this will be a totally different world down here in South Texas. And that's going to be caused by SpaceX in Brownsville the medical school in the Harlingen area, and the merging of UTRGV, the Rio Grande, uh, University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley, that's going to make the biggest major change. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we are, that West Oco is, the mecca of innovation, the mecca of the world, where everybody's going to want to go and see what is happening here. And kids like what we have here, they're the ones that are going to help us to, to be there. So. Thank you for joining us. It's a really an exciting uh, moment to have this opportunity to showcase our kids because you know what, we have them in every single classroom. So thank you for being here today. Good afternoon. Welcome to the West Laco ISD Culinary Arts Center. I'm Karina Mendoza, a senior at West Laco High School and a practicum in culinary arts student. This is where skills are created for life. Our building was once an elementary cafeteria that was converted into the Culinary Arts Center. The Culinary Arts Program was started in 2010, and now we are celebrating our fifth year anniversary. We have a full commercial kitchen that is comparable to the food industry and post-secondary education. We also have a full dining room that we use as a classroom and training facility to prepare us for employment. As a student in practicum in culinary, I have taken culinary arts and lifetime nutrition and wellness as prerequisite class. I am presently employed at IHOP and I will be receiving three high school credits. We will be receiving college dual credit from TSTC and Harlington. This year we will be receiving three credits and from for 1301 Basic Food Prep 1, also articulated credit for san sanitation and safety. We have received our National Restaurant Association's Food Handler Certificate by taking this class. This certificate is required by the health department if you are employed at any of the food establishments here in West Oakville. We are also preparing for the Sa uh, Surf Safe Food Protection Manager Certificate and will be testing second semester. Hello, my name is Melanie. It's amazing how much there is to learn in hospitality. For example, there is, in the front of the house, there is so much to learn. We are required to uh, learn professional skills that that will help build up our confidence, leadership skills, and awareness in the food industry. Hello, I'm Gabby. The best tool that we have is our hands. The best tool as a chef is a knife. I have learned that it's not just chopping an onion or cutting up a chicken. Learning knife skills has taught me to properly hold a knife and form a claw with my hand for safety, and many different vegetable cuts. I have also learned that fabricating a chicken is not easy, but finding and removing the oyster is like receiving gold medal. Also, we are taught temperature, temperature control and how to properly use a thermometer when using different cooking methods when preparing meats. We prepare stocks, sauces, salads, dressings, and soups, fruits, and vegetables. Hello, my name is Mercedes. Um, in yeast bread preparation, we learn fermentation, proofing, rolling, shaping, and baking doughs. 
Focaccia, flatbread, pizza, and potato rolls are but a few that we have prepared. Also, we prepare pastries from pies, cookies, and even the difficult task of decorating cakes. Hello, I am Caroline. The skills we learn in class apply to our many events that we do here in the Culinary Arts Center. Our guests have been our West Laco ISD Superintendent, Dr. Ruben Alejandro, and district employees. The State of Commissioner of Education, Co Commissioner Williams, and our United States Congressman, Bella. We become teachers as we introduce culinary to future chefs when we have cooking camps for small children. We use our skills out in the community by serving at fashion shows and promoting our programs at health fairs. As culinary arts students, we have great opportunities to compete in SkillsUSA and Cupcake Battle competitions. I will be competing in the culinary arts, in the culinary arts where I will be preparing a chicken breast with velouté sauce, um, sides of preparing a chicken breast, oh, side, sides of vegetables and rice pilaf. Also, I will create a chicken soup and, uh, and an appetizer. I will be competing in commercial baking where, we be, where I will be baking a pumpkin bread, sugar cookies, pie crust, and a pineapple pie. Also, I will be decorating a round cake with yellow roses. We will also have first year students competing in the restaurant service and leadership competitions. We will be hosting the regional high school cupcake battle on January 17th. We have to make all from scratch, the cake, frosting, filling, and chocolate work. After all this that is done, we become leaders and we are able to promote our own program. We have to thank our biggest supporters, Ms. Sandra Avila, our CTE director, Dr. Ruben Alejandro, our superintendent of schools, and the Wasco ISD school board members for the support that we are given. We thank our guests for being here today. It's amazing I have leaders now. They used to be so scared last year, it's unbelievable. But now they feel very, very comfortable just to come up here and, and, and speak to a, to a small crowd. Um, the girls are now going to go ahead and um, explain the dessert that you will, uh, will be having. Um, it was a combination of uh, basically putting two things together and we, uh, we created uh, the dessert for you all. Hello, I'm Paola. So the dessert that we created today, it's a pumpkin stat cake. It has cream cheese pumpkin filling and a cream cheese frosting to it. As you can see the decoration on top, I, may, I did the piping the white piping and the flower, the rose with the petals. What Paola um, failed to mention was that um, this, is, this is her cupcake that competed last year in Cupcake Battle. So from the cupcake, we uh, changed it a little bit and we ended up with a stackable cake. Um, she did very, very well in, in competition. In fact, Paola was my uh, only uh, competitor that came back uh, as a student this year, all the other ones have graduated, so I have to retrain uh, the students in, uh, in all of the cake, cake decorating uh, techniques. Um, she did very, very well, and, um, and of course, we're very, very proud of her, and now, uh, guess what, now you have it as a stackable cake. Hope you enjoy.